Hello friends, today we will discuss a problem reverse string or OS. So basically this question was asked in a Nagaro coding test both in on campus and off campus. So this question is very very important for Nagaro coding test. So we will solve the problem using C++ language. So you will be giving a input like this. Welcome to Nagaro and uh, you have to show the output like this Nagaro to welcome. So basically here the OR is reversed not the letter. So uh, we'll do uh, you know using the stack using the stack approach we'll solve the problem because stack is the easy easy way to solve this problem. Uh, so suppose uh, we have the strings, input strings is like this, welcome to Nagaro and we'll iterate the string S from first to last and extract each OR. So first OR will be extract and we'll force it to the stack. So this is the stack, this is the stack, stack ST and we'll extract welcome OR to the stack. So welcome will be here. Next to Two will be extracted and this will be pushed into the stack and this will be here and next the Nagaro will be extracted and the Nagaro will be here. So after that we will uh, you know we will just the top value of the stack will be stack is now Nagaro so this will be this will be uh, stored into the resultant and and the top value will be popped. So this is popped now. Okay. So now the top value to the stack is 2. So 2 will be stored into the string resultant here and 2 will be popped. So 2 will be so next the top value of the stack is welcome and this will be uh, this will be stored into the uh, resultant value or uh, resultant string so this is this will be here and the uh, you know the top of the stack will be popped and this way will solve the problem Okay, so first we'll uh, write the format of the code as include beats standard C++ dot H using namespace standard int main. So in the Nagaro exam test, you don't have to write the main function. The whole format will be given and you only have to write the function of the problem. So for, uh, for better understanding, uh, we'll write the main function here and run the code to show you the output. So suppose the string, uh, input string S is given as uh, A is a boy. So this is the input string and okay we'll output output of function a reverse a reverse string and we'll first the string here. So main function is written and will write the function reverse string and the return type will be string string or reverse string string s yes. okay so first if the string is empty suppose if the size of the string is zero so will return Yes, so if s dot size 
equals to equals to zero, we'll simply return return s. So we'll declare a result in string where we'll store where we'll store the stack values string. So okay string resultant or yes so next we'll declare a stack which is string type so stack stack string string and the name of the stack is st so we'll uh, for iterating the whole input string so for that uh, we'll write those this for loop for int i equals to zero i less than is dot size i plus plus so this follow is for iterating whole the input string. Okay. Uh, so for each OR into the string, uh, for storing each of the OR into the string, so we'll uh, write, we'll declare a OR string. So this string will store each of the words like each of the words nagaro welcome so each of the words will be stored into this uh word stream okay so if there is a leading zeros so suppose welcome to nagaro and before welcome there is several spaces then we'll uh, write a condition for that situations if s of i equals to equals to space we'll continue it so if there is no leading space we'll just do a while loop while i less than is dot search and is of i not equals to space so this is the condition for h of the or so when we will extract h of the or suppose uh will come to any nagaro okay uh, suppose uh Suppose we are here, uh, suppose the i value, uh, suppose the i is here into the e, so e is uh, less than the size of the string, so size of the string is the whole of the string size. This is the case when the i value will be the less than the size of the string and s of i not equals to space. So uh, in the e, s of i not equals to space, when when there will be space, we'll just uh, we'll just go out of, of the while loop. So this is for uh, extracting each of the OR from the string. So we'll write the code here. We'll store we'll store each of the letter into the OR and. Uh, Will increase the i value and okay. And after iterating whole of the OR, whole of the OR, uh, we'll just push the OR into the stack. So, how to push it? They uh, first write the stack name st dot push. And what will going to push the OR? 
So write the or here. Okay. So this will iterate whole of the string. Uh, for loop is uh, written for iterating whole of the string and the while loop is written for each of the or into the string. And okay, after retarding each of the or, this will be forced into the stack. Next, we will extract each of the or from the top of the stack and store it into the uh, store it into the resultant string. So for this, we will uh, we'll write a while loop while string uh, stack is not empty. When the stack is not empty, uh, we'll store it into the result like this st dot top. The top value will be stored it, uh, here, and then we'll just pop, we'll just pop the top value. So after each of the or storing into the stack, we'll just uh, write a uh, you know uh, write a space after each of the or so if the stack is not empty if if the stack is not empty uh, we'll just write result plus equals to space okay so finally what we'll do we'll just return uh, return the result to the main function okay this is the correct output